If you're among those who installed the iOS 26 beta on your device without realizing the issues that come with the update, like battery problems, tons of bugs, and no JIT support, then this video is for you. I'll show you how to downgrade from iOS 26 to iOS 18.5 without losing any data and absolutely for free. Let me show you my current iOS version, which is the latest iOS 26 beta, although it's beautiful, but it's too buggy right now. So now to begin downgrading, it's a must to disable Find My iPhone. To do so, tap on your Apple account and then tap on Find My, and then tap on Find My iPhone. Simply toggle the switch and disable the Find My feature. You may be asked for your Apple ID and password. Once disabled, let's get back to the computer. For the tutorial, I am using a Windows computer and the non-Microsoft Store version of iTunes. Visit the link from the description. Scroll down and tap on this button, which will take you to the official Apple website for downloading. Just download the exe file into your computer and install it like any other program. So before downgrading, it's required to first back up your current data being in iOS 26. Launch the iTunes app and now connect your iOS device to the computer. Once the device is detected by the system, an icon like this will appear here. Simply click on it and under Backup section, select This Computer and next click on Backup Now. The backup process will start. You can see the backup progress here. When the backup is completed, it will show the result here with the day and time as shown. And once the backup is completed, next we require a signed firmware for flashing. So visit the same website and click on this button as shown once you get to this website, click on Get Website or Link, and then click on Skip option placed on the images. Once the countdown of 10 seconds if finished, click on Get Website, and finally on the next page, click on Open. You will be redirected here. This is the official website where you can get all the latest firmware software for your iOS devices. As I am downgrading my iPhone, so we'll select iPhone from the images, and here you will find all the iPhone devices available on the market. You can select your own device from the images, and my device is iPhone 11 Pro. And on the next page, you can find the latest signed firmware, indicated by this checkmark. Now simply click on it to move to the download page, and finally on the next page, scroll down and download the firmware into your computer. The file is large and it may take some time for downloading. Once the file is downloaded successfully, it's time to flash this downloaded firmware using iTunes. Launch iTunes and make sure your device is connected to the computer. Now from your keyboard, hold the shift key and left click on restore iPhone button. Now locate the firmware which was downloaded earlier. Select it and click on open. As you can see, it says that the iPhone will restore to iOS 18.5. Simply click on restore. Although it will erase your data, but I will show a way to restore data. So keep watching. Once the firmware is flashed, you will see a message like this stating that the iPhone is restored to factory settings and your iOS device will boot to Hello Screen. Do the usual manual setup, like choosing your region, language, and when you reach to this screen, don't go any further as we need to restore the data from our computer. So simply tap on Restore from Mac or PC and stay on the screen while staying connected to the computer. Next, we need to make modifications to the iOS backup stored in computer. From your keyboard, Hold the window logo key and the letter R, which will launch the run dialog box. This is the exact command that must be pasted on the dialog box. You can refer to this same website, copy the command from here as shown, and simply paste the command to the run dialog box and hit enter. This will launch the file manager to this path, navigate into this backup folder and to this path where you will find many different folders. Scroll down until you find the info file as shown. Now open and edit this file using any text editor like Notepad. Once you are inside the info file, using your keyboard, hold the control key and press the letter F. Once the search box appears, simply type and search for product. Here you will find the product version. As you can see, it's showing the product version as 26.0. Now simply replace the version number with the version you are restoring to. In my case, it's iOS 18.5. This step is very important. Failure to do so will result in a failed restoration of data. Once the modification is done, click on the File option and save it. That's it. Now you can close out the info file after saving it. Now go back to iTunes. 
it's mandatory to close the program once. Because if you don't close iTunes after modifying backup file, then you will get an error like this while restoring data. So simply cross out from the iTunes and then relaunch iTunes. So finally, to restore data, click on this drop down and select the backup, and then click on Restore. As you can see, the restore process has started. If you are getting along with me, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. And once the restore process is over, you will get a success message like this. Now you can use your phone and enjoy the stable iOS 18 on your device. As you can see, we have successfully downgraded to iOS 18.5 without any data loss. All the media files, notes, settings are restored successfully. That's it for today. Next, if you want to enable developer mode in your iOS device, watch my next video to learn how.